former President Trump is speaking tonight, and we want to bring back in former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson again for immediate reaction. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you. It's good to be with you this evening. And as you look at uh, his remarks tonight in Waco, it's really expressing grievances after grievance after grievance. And of course, I think 2024 ought to be about the future and how we're going to address our border security, our national security challenges that we see from Russia to China. These are the issues that people are talking about and concerned about with inflation hitting our families with interest rates. And here you've got uh, former President Trump uh, going through all of uh, how he's been mistreated uh, by prosecutors and investigations. And while we have some sympathy for him, the fact is that, uh, you know, it's all of conduct that they're looking at from uh, mishandling of classified information uh, to calling Georgia and trying to get extra votes after the election was over with. And then thirdly, uh, paying hush money in New York City. And while I don't think there should be a prosecution, the fact is those things happen. And so, uh, you know, now he wants to express his grievances, and I don't think that's what 2024 should be about or America's future. Yeah, and to your point about grievances, the former president again calling this election rigged and fake. We heard that multiple times again tonight. Um, other Republicans have said that the party needs to move on. As a fellow Republican, what are your thoughts on this? Well, we do. We need to move on. We need to get away from from chaos. We need to get debating the last uh, election results and recognize it's over with. We got another election coming up in 2022. Uh, didn't go too well whenever we were focusing on the past. And so it's about the future. It's about ideas and problem solving and uh, fresh candidates that are looking at the uh, future of our country. And the fact is, uh, you know, former President Trump announced his arrest. Well, it didn't happen. I think we ought to wait on facts. I think we ought to wait on developments and not just jump every time President Trump says uh, he's being heard or he's being attacked. Uh, and meanwhile, uh, former President Trump facing a number of investigations, one in Manhattan, apparently close to a potential indictment at this point. What do you make of the case against the former president? Well, I, I'm a former prosecutor. I handled white collar criminal cases, and this is not a case I would bring. Bring. Uh, I think it's weak. I think it's weak uh, legally. Uh, and so we'll see what uh, the prosecutor in New York City does. But that's my view of it. Uh, but if he is indicted, then uh, that's what our, our, our system of justice is about, where he has the opportunity to defend himself. And there's going to be an outcome there. And, and, and then the same thing is true with the other investigations that are ongoing, which we don't know what the result of those are going to be. And so once again, he's getting ahead of what reality might be. And we saw one of the printed signs behind him at one point uh, earlier on in the speech. It, it read, witch hunt. Is Trump helping or hurting his own case with constant posts on social media, bashing the Manhattan DA, calling the investigation a witch, a witch hunt? Well, that's his defense strategy, is to make it into a circus, to discredit the prosecutors and uh, the system of justice that we have. And uh, whenever you want to back law enforcement, whenever you want to believe in America, uh, that's not uh, the right approach, but that's the defense strategy that he is articulating. And uh, I don't know that that's helpful. I think it's, he's probably not following the advice of his defense attorneys. It's their nightmare that he's out there talking about it all the time. Uh, but that's what he's doing. And the American public though, want to move on. They want to say, we're finished with that chaos. Let's have people who want to talk about the future of America and the hope that we have for our great country. If the former president is indicted, should that prevent him from running for the White House again? Well, it's always been my view that the office is more important than the person seeking that office. And so if someone at whatever level is charged criminally, step aside, defend yourself, uh, because the office that you seek is more important. And that is even more significant when you're talking about the presidency of the United States. This is not uh, thinking of America, it's not thinking about our country, he's simply thinking about himself. And, uh, and, and so, uh, yes, I think he should step aside, but that's not my decision. 
he'll make that decision. He's not going to. And even if he's convicted, he can run. And so ultimately, this is going to be a decision of the voters. And the voters need to decide the future of our country and not uh, through uh, the prosecution or the airing, airing of grievances. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.